An updated Easter egg in the Grand Theft Auto Trilogy Definitive Edition might be hinting at Grand Theft Auto 6 with this image right here. Now, I know what you're thinking. How in the world is this related to Grand Theft Auto 6? Well, that's what I'm breaking down in this video and explaining in full detail. If you have ADHD like myself and you skip around, well, there's chapter systems at the bottom of the video. And with your help and everybody else in the Grand Theft Auto community, we might be able to verify whether this is real or fake. But the crazy thing is, it's really seeming like this might be real based on Rockstar Games' history of doing things like this in their other games. So if you enjoy the video and you'll learn something new, well, I hope that I can earn your thumbs up for the algorithm. I'll wait. Thank y'all so much. And also, if you want to join the channel and help us get a little bit closer to 1 million subscribers, that would be amazing as well. So the image in question actually comes from the Grand Theft Auto Trilogy Definitive Edition in GTA San Andreas. At the Little Probe Inn, some images on the wall have been updated, and there's actually 13 of them to be exact. And while I was making my Easter egg video the other day, this did stand out to me when I came across this change, but I didn't think too much of it until I saw a tweet from Kirsty Cloud referencing the Grand Theft Auto forums where the community was actually discussing this specific image. So it was nice to see others noticing this as well. It made me feel like I wasn't grasping at straws with this. And a lot of the things discussed in this thread did serve as a refresher to my memory for the things that I'm going to discuss in this video and breaking all of this down. So thank you to everybody on the Grand Theft Auto forums. Y'all are amazing. So there are 13 images added to this wall. 11 of them are from Grand Theft Auto 5, and one of them is of Guarma, as you can see right here. Here's the image versus in-game. Nice little comparison. And then the one in question is actually of a house, just a, just a normal house, a, a suburban family home. So how is this related to Grand Theft Auto 6? Well, do me a favor. If you Google suburban Florida home and then take a look at the images that come up versus the image in question, it makes you wonder, okay, well, it's a Florida home, so what? Well, if you're not already familiar, let me jog your brain. So, the backbone of all Grand Theft Auto 6 leaks originated in March 2018 from The No, a very reputable source. It was in a YouTube video, and The No has gotten tons of things right. Their insiders are usually very credible, and they had a, an insider at Rockstar Games. And this was the first ever GTA 6 leak outside of Sernando's old videos. And if you haven't most GTA 6 leaks, matter of fact, just like 9 out of 10 of them, have to do with Vice City, Project Americas, drug running between South America, Vice City, etc., 1980s, uh, and all of that. And all of that started from this leak from the No. So obviously we know that Miami or Vice City is a fictional version of Miami. So that's where this suburban Florida home and the image in question all correlate. And some amazing members on the GTA forums were able to take this image and uh, make uh, up the resolution and make it a bit more clear so we can get an idea of what's going on here. Tons of you guys actually reverse image searched this on Google and couldn't find anything. So that means that it's not on Google as a stock image or anything. Uh, I initially thought that, okay, maybe this is the Mirror Park area in Grand Theft Auto 5 and after tons of investigation, that's not the case at all. Some members on the GTA forums were also speculating that maybe this is from LA Noir, and to that I can also say without even investigating in that game, 1940s America did not have two-door garages. That's a weird fact that I know, but back then, uh, most families didn't have cars. If you did have a car, there was one, and it's because the husband was going to work to cheat on his wife, get drunk, and then come home and beat her. Uh, that's the that's the sad matter and the, and the truth of what happened there. So no, there was no two door garages in in L.A. Noir. Not sure where I was going with the rest of that. So either way, the image in question does leave us scratching our heads due to the fact that the origin the origins of it cannot be found anywhere. So real quick, I want to backtrack to GTA 6 Project Americas, and I want to give y'all a little bit more definitive proof that well, Take Two and Rockstar have been to Miami, Florida, to scout locations for an unknown title if you can see the air quotes that I'm doing there. So in October 2019 there was a Reddit post that popped up featuring a document that is from Take-Two Interactive stating that Rockstar Games is wanting to send scouts to Miami to take a look inside businesses and their interiors to again model them to use 
in an unknown Rockstar Games or a, or a Rockstar game, a, a classified one. And this area that they were going to is Wynwood. And Wynwood in my or in Miami, I was about to say Vice City, is a really beautiful art district. And it's something that is very Grand Theft Auto-esque, if you ask me. Uh, th this is definitely an area that I could see in GTA, and in real life there is even GTA artwork, not that that has anything to do with this, uh, in this art district. So, pretty interesting there. Now, this document actually is real. It was confirmed real by multiple sources, renowned leakers in the community, but also anybody who has a bit of common sense and can do a little bit of Google research. And the name at the bottom of the document, again, is what led this document to being confirmed as real. So I think it's safe to say that this image in question is most likely modeled after a Florida home. So with that said, why could or why would this be a tease towards Grand Theft Auto 6? Couldn't it just be a random image of a Florida home surrounded by a bunch of Grand Theft Auto 5 homes? Well, Rockstar at times like to tease their new games in their old games. And I'll run through a few examples for you. So in Grand Theft Auto 3, and I've talked about this one so much on the channel, so if you've already seen this before, that's why I got chapter systems at the bottom of the video. You can skip through them. But in 2001, Rockstar Games had a billboard in GTA 3 that says, See you in Miami. And one year later, when Vice City released, we were seen in Miami. So Rockstar put the the game's location in plain sight they hit it right there in front of us in grand theft auto 4 at the fun park we can find on the backdrop of one of the rides uh, what looks to be a plane flying towards los santos and some fans say that this is just an image from san andreas others like to think that this was rockstar teasing a return to los santos which is obviously what we did after grand theft auto 4 Another tease that Rockstar did, which is pretty cool, is in Max Payne 3, which released in May of 2012. And in that game, we can actually find on a billboard an image of four different planes from Grand Theft Auto 5. The thing is, Max Payne 3 came out almost a year and a half before Grand Theft Auto 5. So that was a tease hidden in plain sight right there for us. And even better, there is a billboard in Max Payne 3. And as we can see here in the background of it, you can see Los Santos from Grand Theft Auto 5. So Rockstar's a bit sneaky with the images. And really the Max Payne 3 images here and the tease... Um, further solidify my belief that this could be a tease towards Grand Theft Auto 6. The only thing is though, we'll have to wait until GTA 6 is out to see if this is real or not. So while I would like to believe this, I'm not going to say 100% that yes, this is a GTA 6 leak. But again, if you compare it to the evidence and line it up, there is a high probability that it could be. Now, this last leak that I want to mention is a little bit off topic, but it's another leak that happened. But this one came from the public. So in 2014, Four years before Red Dead Redemption 2 released and two years before it was announced, this image leaked and it was allegedly a Red Dead Redemption 2 screenshot. Again, we're in 2014. Fans, the internet, everybody pretty much said, hey, this is fake. They wrote it off as just a concept. And turns out this specific location is actually in Red Dead Redemption 2 and serves as the location to a very important mission in the Gunslinger quest where we meet Black Bell. So pretty cool to see that right there and the fact that it's actually used as a mission in the swamps outside of Lemoyne. So that said, that's a little bit more proof that Rockstar has done things like this before, so it wouldn't be out of the ordinary. But again, we're just going to have to wait and see until the game actually comes out to see if this location is even in there. And by then, tons of people will forget about this specific image, and then it'll just pop up one day and we'll be like, hey, that was in there, or it'll never appear and we'll just forget about it.